If you followed this channel for a while, then you probably know that the Salton Sea is one of those places that I love to explore in Southern California. Sure, it's a good drive from Los Angeles and it's definitely not for everyone, but it's still a pretty unique part of the state. I haven't been to this area in like five years and there is so much to see here now. For this video, I connected with my friends from Oddity Odysseys and we decided to spend the entire day exploring the Salton Sea and seeing some of the new art installations they have there. Come with us as we explore and be sure to check out their video which is linked in the description. Let's jump into it. If you want to visit the Salton Sea from Los Angeles, plan for a full day as it takes a long time to drive out here. After about three and a half hours of driving, we've made it to the Salton Sea and our first stop, Salvation Mountain, one of my favorite places to explore in California. Salvation Mountain is an outdoor art installation that was created by one man, Leonard Knight, over the course of 30 years. It was built on this hillside out in the desert and it's brought visitors from all over the world to see this beautiful spot. I was told that this entire area came down about a year and a half ago and they've repaired it beautifully. It looks so cool. It looks even better than it used to look, I think. Also, here's how the water damage looks right here. You can see an example of an area they haven't fixed yet. But man, they've been doing a great job of keeping this up and repairing it. With all the rain that we've had recently, there are unfortunately some spots of the mountain that you can't access. You used to be able to walk up the yellow brick road to the top, but you can't do that. And then there's a building that's off to the right hand side that's also closed because the roof caved in. They said they're working on repairing all of this though and getting it back up to speed. Just being here in this place reminds me of the one time that I met Leonard while he was out here. Just an incredibly kind human being. He was so excited to, to show me different pieces and different um, special parts to him just to tell me about the message of love and what it meant to him as well and it was just really cool to be able to have that experience now that he's passed away for almost five to seven years now i believe but this piece lives on and his message of love lives on so just really cool to see and really cool to think back on that experience well look at who i ran into What's drew and bethany on? from oddity odyssey wow. hello Fancy this. Are we going to explore the Salton Sea together today? That's right. We couldn't be at the Salton Sea without Salvation Mountain. They kind of go hand in hand. Hand in hand. But why Why does it look so good? Because we were here a few years ago and I don't remember it being this vibrant. I agree. It is freaking amazing right now. I am impressed. I, I honestly didn't know whether I was going to see this place like destroyed when I came out here because it's been a few years. But it yeah. looks better than I remember it looking. Yeah. I know I'm sharing a lot of random stuff today, but one more thing I have to share about Salvation Mountain is that this place just reminds me of when I first started blogging and doing the kind of YouTube and all that stuff way back in the day, is that I never really thought that there was that many unique places that were near me. And when I found this place and I saw it, it showed me that there's so much cool stuff all around you that you don't even have to travel very far to see it and it really started my love for exploring and seeing unique places all around the state of California so like I will always remember this mountain and just the way that I felt the first time I saw it realizing that there was so much cool stuff to see that I didn't have to travel far for. Saying goodbye to Salvation Mountain and on to the next spot Bombay Beach. After leaving Salvation Mountain, I decided to drive through Slab City, go to East Jesus for a few minutes to see some of the art installations there, and then continue on towards Bombay Beach. We spent a lot of time exploring Salvation Mountain, so it was around lunchtime by the time we got to Bombay Beach and we decided to go to the Ski Inn first, which is basically the only restaurant anywhere near this part of Salton Sea. Cheers! You gotta share mine. Water. <laughs> Burgers and onion rings. It's a good deal too. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I expect your rating out of 10, all right? Okay, coming up. Official review of the Ski Inn by two professionals. What do you give the burger out of 10? It would be an eight, but because it's the only what thing you can eat. <laughs> Bombay Beach, you get the 9.5. 9.5? 9 oh, 9 that's, just, okay. that's one of the best burgers in California. You've redeemed. No, it's not in and out. You've redeemed yourself. I was right. going to say 9.2. 9.2. All right, so you're solid burger if you're in the Bombay Beach area. Totally. You can't pass it up. One of the best things about a visit here is that they have dollar bills all over the walls and they'll provide you with tape and markers so that you can write on one and put your own dollar up. I did this on my first visit in 2018 and I wasn't able to find my dollar anymore, so we added another one to the wall. 
should for sure be <laughs> promoting your new episodes. One year later, we'll still be here trying to figure all this out. SPN. I guys got a clown going. All right, you guys gotta sign my dollar bill. There we go. All right, it is ready to go. Hopefully this one lasts longer than the other one did. We put our dollar bills on the ceiling right next to the fan, so be sure to let us know if you see them. I'm kind of bummed I didn't put my dollar bill on the parrot. <laughs> this also would have been a cool place for a dollar bill. We spent a good amount of time at this ski inn. That was a fun spot, giving you know, all the color of the dollar bills. The people there were great. And they had a good burger too, but we're heading on to the next spot. Our next stop brought us to the ruins on the outskirts of Bombay Beach, which has basically been turned into an outdoor art installation. There's nobody manning the lemonade stand. Do you got any lemons? We can open oh, it up. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be my job. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Check out that boat. That is so cool. The large decaying wooden boat was definitely my favorite, and there was a metro station that would take you to the underground right next to it. So we found the metro, and believe it or not, you can actually take the stairs or escalator. Which one are you taking down? Oh my gosh, we'll find out. I've been looking for a subway all day. <laughs> wow, right back to Los Angeles. <laughs> so watch where you're walking, because uh, this would be a rough day if you walked right into that. So as I was looking at this cube, whoa, there's a fish over there. Gotta go check it out. We didn't plan on spending as long as we did here, but I'd say there's about 20 to 25 different installations all around the beach. <laughs> here comes the hospital trip. You guys would never see this from my channel. That's commitment to a video right there. I'm almost there. there. <laughs> I'd like to see you get Do down, we... but well done. <laughs> Do we look good together? Because I'm gonna be here a while. You can actually drive out on the dirt, but make sure you watch for sandy spots if you don't have four-wheel drive. This is amazing. There's so much art everywhere. You can kind of just drive around, stop where you want to stop. It feels kind of like Desert X out here. It's really fun. This one says it has free love in it. I don't know what that... There's nothing going on here. This place is a photographer's paradise. There's literally all these installations all over with the stark desert behind you. It's really cool to take pictures. Plus, there's everything you need. There's a confessional, a bar, Tesla solar charger. What else could you need? <laughs> Drew found this unique piece of art out in the water though, so that's where we're going to next. Some of the coolest installations were the ones that were out in the water. You can't get too close to them because of the mud, but they make for awesome photos. This area also has a lot of the stuff the salt and sea beaches are known for with this kind of fish bones and scales all along the ground. There's a swing out there in the water. That's unique. This swing was one of my favorites and it was cool to see how it reflected in the water. This is kind of cool, a front porch. There's some windows. You can come in here, there's even a phone if you need to make a call. Man, I think I could live here. <laughs> oh, except where's the rest of the house? Oh, what? Of course, it is called the Porch View. That is a perfect name. I like this art installation. I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna break under the weight, but it seems good at the moment. <laughs> Oh, there's also a kayak here if you want to go kayaking. Looks like a great launch point. No fishing though. So I'm heading north, they're heading south, so we're saying goodbye to the Oddity Odysseys crew, but they're making a video. What's it on? Salt and Sea Oddities. So I will link to that in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. See ya. Bye, Josh. <gasps> this way. Before leaving Bombay Beach, there are a couple other installations you can see, with the first being the colorful TVs along the side of the road. A couple blocks away from that is the Bombay Beach Drive-In, which was one of my favorite installations that I saw during this visit. Check it out, they're using Ferris wheel seats for the drive-in. You can sit in movie theater seats, Ferris wheel seats, or a boat. I 
I don't know about you guys, but I love exploring these unique art installations. This has definitely been a pretty cool one with all the stuff that they have set up here and the sign and everything. Bombay Beach has changed a lot since I was here with all of the art. Definitely a cool place to get out and check out if you're into this kind of stuff like I am. After leaving Bombay Beach, I only had about two hours of light left, so I headed about 30 minutes north to do a hike I had wanted to do before leaving the Salton Sea. Before ending this video, I'm heading out on the San Andreas Palm Oasis Trail, which is about a mile. It's a beautiful time right now with all these purple flowers. This is a great hike if you're not doing it in the heat of the summer as it's well maintained and easy to follow. This has got to be one of the most beautiful trail entrances I've ever seen going straight into those palm trees. I've done this hike a couple times and I never forget how it looks as you're entering the oasis. crazy that as we enter into here, it drops about 15 degrees in the weather. What's also weird is that it's completely silent other than me. The trail definitely needs a little maintenance as there was tons of down palm trees all around, but it's still beautiful. We're exiting the Palm Oasis, that was awesome. It's a short trail, but it's a lot of fun and it's really beautiful. Plus with no one here, how quiet it was, it was just a very unique adventure to have in the Salton Sea. One last stop before we end the video. I stayed for about 20 minutes and watched the sun go down on the palm trees and the surrounding hills. From there, it was about a 30 minute drive north to our last stop. We're back from the Salton Sea in the town of Indio at one of my favorite places to get something to eat in this area, TKB Bakery. This is the trump card sandwich which basically has everything on it and it's my go-to here at TKB. I especially like that it has a jalapeno cheese bread which gives it a good spice. I mean, check that out. That is a legit sandwich for sure. And with that, our day in the Salton Sea is over. Thanks to the Oddity Odysseys crew for hanging out with me. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and we will see you on the next one.